Hello everybody, I hope you're well. I've got another story for you today. This story is called Br'er Rabbit and the Briar Patch. Now Br'er Rabbit is the character's name, that's the rabbit's name in the story, and the Briar Patch means like a patch or a group of bramble bushes or thorny brushes. So we'll see what happens with Br'er Rabbit and the Briar Patch. Now there was once a mischievous creature called Br'er Rabbit who had an old enemy, Br'er Fox. Those two were always fighting and trying to trick each other. He's a rascally rabbit, thought Br'er Fox. It's time I taught him a lesson. And he decided to set a trap. He took a long rope, tied it to a tree, looped the other end and laid that on the ground. Then he covered it with leaves. There's his trap. He's going to cover it with leaves and you can see Br'er Rabbit in the background. Lippity, clippity, clippity, lippity. Along came Br'er Rabbit, sassy and swaggering, as if he were the king of the world. Br'er Fox chuckled and lay low in the bushes, neatly hidden from view. Br'er Rabbit bounded along until twang went the trap the rope snapping around his ankle. Uh oh, said Br'er Rabbit. He wiggled, he jiggled, he twisted and turned, he writhed and squirmed, but there was no getting out of that trap. Br'er Rabbit was stuck fast and he knew it. There he is, look, he's in that trap, tied up by his ankle. Br'er Fox watched it all with a grin and then strutted out from the bushes. Got you, he cried. I've got you and now I'm going to gobble you up. He licked his chops. He licked his lips. He was hungry. Hooray, cried Br'er Rabbit. Hooray, said Br'er Fox. What do you mean? Do you, do you mean you want me to eat you? Oh yes, sang Br'er Rabbit. Please eat me, fry me, boil me, bake me in a pie. But whatever you do, please, please, please don't throw me in the briar patch. What's wrong with the briar patch? asked Br'er Fox. Oh, it's full of horrible, scratchy, prickly thorns. Don't put me in there, Br'er Fox. Those thorns will tear me to pieces. Oh, then that is exactly what I'll do grinned Br'er Fox. He grabbed Br'er Rabbit by the ears and he hurled him through the air. Look, there's a picture just before he threw him. He was having that conversation with Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Rabbit whizzed around like a whirligig and landed splat right in the middle of the briar patch. Br'er Fox watched and waited. Look. He's thrown him and he's landed right in the middle of the briar patch. Br'er Fox watched and waited. He was listening for Br'er Rabbit's cries. Instead, he heard lippity, clippity, clippity, lippity. Ha ha ha, sang Br'er Rabbit. He he he. I was born in the briar patch, Br'er Fox. It can't hurt me. I know my way around it like the back of my paw. And full of glee at his trickery, Br'er Rabbit skipped his way home. And there he is, there skipping his way home. He's very pleased with himself. And that's the end of that story. Wasn't that nice to see that Br'er Rabbit outsmarted Br'er Fox? He was cleverer than him and he managed to trick him back. I've got another Br'er Rabbit story to read, which I'll read shortly, and I hope that you will enjoy that one as well. Take care, bye-bye.